Hi there, Glenn VK4NGA here. When I first started out in uh, in D Star, one of the biggest issues I had was how to switch the radio between reflectors, either on the local repeater or with uh, using a hotspot. So I'm currently using my open spot, but this pretty much works the same for uh, repeaters as well. So I'll just step you through it. This is the first thing we do. We're going to get from up to two and then normally we come down here to reflector link to reflector and uh, if you haven't got any reflectors in there already if you haven't used any you'll go direct input and what do you know it's REF only you can't change it you can't get back you can only go to the three numbers and the letters so the L on the end uh, is L for link. It just tells the uh, the radio it commands the um, the hotspot or the repeater to link. So that's the issue. Um, you can only hook to RF using this method. You can't hook to XRF, DCS, or XLX. So this is how you do it. We'll just go back and we'll find. No, we'll go back further. Go back further. And you go to your call sign. This is where you need to program your radio up. You can do it manually or you can do it via the software. I'm going to show you how to do it via the software. So you go to your call sign and there are all of your reflectors and you see here on this uh, this one, REF023 Charlie, uh, that's the VK link reflector. And the um, the connection to that is REF023C with an L, L for link. So as you can see, I've got uh, 30, 25, 23, 20, 12, uh, 4, uh, REF002 Charlie, one Charlie, the uh, international reflector and then we go to uh, one alpha london then we go to the xrf so this is the constellation reflectors xrf triple five a three ten a uh o five four a at charlotte uh, the o two one b canada nets and double o two a the constellation reflector provided by the kings of digital and that's where the um a lot of the nets are held and then we go to the xlx uh, XLX 750Q, so we've got, um, that's the New Zealand Multi Protocol. Uh, 750D, that's the New Zealand DMR uh, Multi Protocol. And XLX 500Q, which is uh, also linked, that's the VK Multi, that's linked to uh, DCS 028Q or XLX 028. Uh, then we got uh, XLX 500G, which is at uh, DMR Talk Group 5050, uh, 389D. These are just the ones that I've put in. So uh, 389D, um, which is DMR and the AC Assistant Fusion, System Fusion, then um, DCS028Q. So we'll um, we'll just talk to uh, we'll just connect to one of these. So we'll connect to this one. So we come here and we just. Hit the button quickly. He's watching the open spot. Open spot connected to XLX seven five zero delta. Okay, and so on. You can just leave that set to onto two, and select all the different reflectors that you want to switch to. Now that's the same as on your local repeater as well. Um, to talk on that reflector, I forget which one we connected to now. I think it was this one. To talk on it, you just push this uh, button here. Um, so you just push this button here, I should say, and you go to local CQ. And then back to the open spot. Now, if you're on if you use uh, local CQ for your um, hotspot, but if you're on, say, here we go, this is my local um, 
two meter D star repeater. If I was going to use that, I'd set this to reflector, use reflector. Because what we want to do is we want the repeater uh, that we connect to to make use of the reflector it's connected to. If we just put CQCQ up here, then uh, it's only going to be a local connection. It's not going to go through the gateway. Software for the ID4100. This is the genuine ICOM software. And we come up here to digital. And just click on your call sign. And you'll see that I've programmed in 20 reflectors. Um, there's room for 300. So you've got plenty of uh, flexibility there. You'll see that the um, the XLX I don't have the L on the end. The L is for repeater linking, uh, so you can link to your repeater. Um, if you use a hotspot, uh, the open spot doesn't require that. So what we need to achieve is um, we need to put in the um, the name that you want to give it, which is fully customizable, and then the call sign. So in this case, it's uh, XRF021 Bravo and L on the end for link. You'll notice the XLXs haven't got L on the end. Um, I just haven't done that because I'm using my hotspot. If I want to connect the local repeater to the XLX, then I'll need the L on the end to command the repeater to link. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching.